What's up, fam? I'm JB Black CEO. Let me make sure my mic is right. Welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0. No, let's get to the point. Cabo 6. Oh, it is disrespect, Sham Cola Robinson family. You know what I'm saying? Starting on October 29th. You know what I'm saying? Back here last year. Oh, we're in Cabo. This is some of the most disrespectful stuff that you can do. You know, it's okay if somebody don't uh, like your son or kid. It's okay. But all this, that is stream where this damn like set up with the travel mates over in Cabo, over in Cabo, all levels of this is disrespectful. And as, as we know, you know, the feds came out saying we ain't going to investigate it. And hell, you got the public and content creators saying how, why, when, and what the hell. Because hell, even we see where there can be a charge, but oh, the extradition treaty, oh, the treaty over there, no jurisdiction. We don't even know when she was on alive. Even they clearly said after the French refused Mr. Robinson's daughter to go to the hospital, that her condition went down. Yeah, I thought they could start there. I thought they could start where, you know what I'm saying, the friends refused, and that's weird, though. And then to see the friends come back and just disrespect the family, the house, the daddy, the sisters, the mamas, and everybody over back over here when we was mining our damn business. But listen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button here at Black CEO Media. So when I go live or drop a video like I'm doing, this is just a video. And that way you get the notification and boom, 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 ring a damn ling, however you want to do it. And you'll get the notification. I'm going to bring you the truth and not the uh, damn juice. You got the people out there saying, hey, Jay, Wiggins ain't going over there to the house and uh, let Mr. Robinson know they saying Wiggins going to the internet. Who was Wiggins? Nazir Wiggins, you know what I'm saying? The innocent guy that ain't went to Mr. Robinson or, you know what I'm saying, to try to sit down and talk to that man and say, I was set up also. Here's my proof. When I got there, I felt like they, well, this guy is not going to this brother explaining that. You know what I'm saying? Now, the community out here and even people being inboxing me and calling me saying, dude, this dude finna go to the internet instead of talking to this grown man. And they're like, Jay, remember he said he got degrees. Remember he said he got this, he got that. And people are like, why in the hell he won't speak up over here on this end right here? Because we know Khalil Cook went over there to the house with his mom in there. And damn, Khalil ain't had no brothers, no uncles, no cousins, no male figures in there at the time. At least seven guys in there. You know what I'm saying? Seven guys. And we say four girls. She didn't have like seven guys in there, family member. It's okay to listen to Khalil Cook and Winter and Desjanae say, you know, uh, this situation that we know she didn't have no guys in there. Damn, it's okay, though. But guess what? She have a guy. She have a man. She have a protector. She have a savior, which is the brother right behind me, Mr. Bernard Robinson. Let me make this clear right here. These guys and people didn't go to the right guy. They should have went to the man, the king, the father, the protector. You heard what Mr. Bernard Robinson said. I am her damn protector, you know, and I feel the same way about my daughter and also about my son that I have. So I get what this brother said, you know, and it's see just a disrespect calling back from Cabo, uh, Mr. Khalil Cook, yo, my, uh, Ms. Russell Manjo, we need five grand or whatever, even though all six of us, if we do $50 a piece over here in, in, in U.S. money, we'll have it, but we're calling back trying to get it from you. Now, they say that Quilla need money to go to the hospital. We ain't going to use our money, Miss Salamandra. And Miss Salamandra, if we use our money, it only take $50 a piece from each one of us over here. Nazir, uh, Winner, Elise, and all of that's $50, and that's enough. That Believe it, that's five grand right there once you convert it over, but they want to miss the solid manager money and be disrespectful. That's some of the disrespectful ass stuff you can do if they did it. So you mean to tell me this guy calling Miss Salad Manager asking for fifty dollars and Nazi over time he wasn't there. Nazi was sitting there while this guy calling Miss Salad Manager and you mean Miss Salad Manager excuse me I'm saying that plain name wrong. Not calling Mr. Robson. These people not trying like well can I talk to her dad? None of that. None of this. You remember the video at the table? Yo, we ball like ain't nobody else. This and that. What Khalil Cook was saying, though. It don't seem like this guy ball when he out. He got to tell a damn lie. You know, if you sat there and watched this girl get whipped and assault, tell the truth, man. Why Khalil Cook can't tell the damn truth out here in America? Go over there and do that mess and come back to America. America is not having this. People is like, Jay, you know, bruh, these people, man, I never seen people upset. Well, I have, but it's just unique. When you got blacks, whites, Indians, and everybody want to just whip Cabo 6, it's crazy. I see it, I hear it, and it's crazy. You got 
people out here want to jump on Cabo 6. I'm saying whites, blacks, paints, red, whatever the hell it is, is people don't like them from Jamaica to all around. You know, you seen Jamaica speak out was like, bruh, it's folk over here ain't going to take that. You know, these people are disrespectful. And then when you look at, say, for instance, in that, that Zero Wiggins guy, you know, I ain't done nothing. I wasn't there. Not one time did he get with Mr. Bernard and say, I got a video with me in the cab, sir. Well, I got that link. I felt they set me up, sir. I walked into something. You ain't finna go out there and say that. You hear it on the internet. Like, yo, hey, this guy basically like walked into it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, why the hell he ain't going to Mr. Bernard Robinson and say, I walked into something. They set it up when I came. So I'll be doing CPR. And when the doctor come, he ain't there. He's not going to. He ain't told Mr. Robinson nothing. And then, like I say, the film. I mean, I think that right there should hurt some people's feelings. That Nazir didn't go to the room. He was scared. He was this. He was that. Khalil Cook wasn't scared to go to the house. There's an even one scared enough to go to the house. Well, actually, they were scared and stupid, though. So this guy pull up to outside of the front or whatever. What is he so scared of if you innocent? Why ain't this guy Wiggins talking to Mr. Bernard Robinson? Why didn't they go to him? Because they probably thought he was going to steal off on one of them. You know what I'm saying? Put that combination on it. Put that 30 round real piece. Uh, probably cross the uh, forehead or something that old school right there. They probably thought Mr. Robinson would get up under them kneecaps though. Like they seen something in them. And I don't blame them because you can't be playing with these old school brothers and their children out here. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you may be old, new school and your kid this and this and this and that. It's a lot of old school people, brothers that love our kids. We cry. We drop tears about our kids. You know, some people, some brothers and sisters hold it in, but you got some old school people out here that pull up to the fight with their kids, okay? That pull up to it, man. And my thing is, do not poke no sleeping giants. And on top of that, do not poke God. See, God is going to have the last word. God is working. These people is going to have some of the, the, the worstest luck in life. Right now, these people looking behind their back. They watching. They they watching and looking. Maybe some of their homies looking like, man, well, whoop the whoop the whoop. But these people do not want no problem no more. They don't want no problem. The only problem they want to get it done was, was that October 29th in Mexico. And that's with Quiller. You know, as we see, these people said this girl agreed to a fight butt naked in front of Khalil Cook. And Khalil Cook know the family. And we see this guy wouldn't have the decent say, yeah, no, nah, Quiller, you ain't finna fight. You know, you ain't finna, I mean, like, what the hell? And we see Quill over here looking like she's trying to de-escalate the situation with her hands out like this, but they say a fight. Nah, you're not gonna piss on our legs and tell her that it's raining, snowing, sleeping. Well, let's sleep with the rain. That way you feel the wetness of it and the little bees. No, don't do that and don't try to piss on our legs. But listen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button. So when I do go live and drop these, these topic situation, dealing with your Quilla Robinson situation, why this guy in that zero Williams is back five months and ain't went to Mr. Robinson's house, though. This guy said innocent. And then I, we, we see like a narrative where it's like, bro, we think he was, but he not explaining that to Mr. Robinson so he can get his antennas up there on the 19th to help bust that door open. Just think, he come out that way, man. You can use him to get in there at the march, and they can go to the Department of Justice and say, he go a video. I just released it not long ago, and I think this can help. When I got there, I felt like I walked into something. I felt like these people set me up. These people rerouted the cab. You know what I'm saying? I left my damn uh, luggage at the hotel. This guy ain't saying nothing like that. Because, you know, they went to eat, and then all of a sudden they popped up at the hotel airport. He not breaking none of that down to Mr. Robinson. And I don't get it. So light your blacks real quick and just think about it. Just think about it. Khalil Cook. You know, allegedly out here calling, yo, we need that money. We need that money when $50 a piece from all six of them, because Nazir was there, so he makes six. And then here from my understanding, it was another person that I don't know. Yeah, that was more than enough to get Quilla to the hospital. And then the doctor says, the nurse says, yo, we need to get her to the hospital. And then we got Cookie running in there. Miss Salamandra, we need money. The nurse said this, the nurse said that. Ain't nobody telling them. Ain't nobody telling them. Uh, Wiggins definitely ain't telling what happened in between that right there with this money thing. Like, Wiggins, now, why did they need money? What was Khalil Cook talking about? Why don't Wiggins go tell Mr. Robinson about what the hell went on? Like when Khalil Cook 
was damn calling Mama Salad Manager saying he need money. He need money. You mean to tell me these people went to Mexico and nobody had fifty dollars? Nobody had at least fifty dollars on. Hmm? So these guys, grown men and women, went to Mexico and nobody got fifty dollars where they can pay to get Quilla uh, their travel mate to the medical facility over there in Mexico and then communicate. That don't sound right right there. And then guess what? Wiggins is not trying to talk to Mr. Robinson though. Okay, now the frontal, from my understanding, he wasn't there. Okay, and then they had the rally. I was there. Okay, here's my proof. You know, I got my bag. You know, got my, you know what I'm saying? That's what I got. When I went to that protest and I'm gonna cut this shot, he wasn't there. None of them was there. Saying, look, Mr. Robinson, uh, it didn't look right. I was set up. Nobody was there at that rally. Okay, wait a minute. That's it. Wasn't there. He wasn't there. I'm been trying to figure out. And then they had with the balloon re release. He wasn't there. None of them was there. But this guy said he innocent. He he wasn't there. Like your black. And then Wiggins and the rest of them seen the pink letters. He wasn't there. But this guy's innocent. He walked into something, but he ain't gonna call Mr. Robinson. It seems like why don't this guy call Mr. Robinson? Cabo Six is some of the disrespectful people. That's the situation. Hey, bruh, dang, Quillo, you ain't gonna fight back. All of that. It's just, it's just garbage, man. It's just garbage. It seems like some of these people, like the the, the, the Wiggins guy, know he has stepped in a little boo boo and it was stinking. That didn't kind of hey do that. You smell that? Well, I ain't in. No, go and talk to Mr. Robinson though. Talk to Mr. Robinson. Talk to Mr. Robinson. Don't come to Black CEO Media, any of the channels we're affiliated with. Want to put a word out if you ain't talk to Mr. Brother Robinson right there. Cause that's his daughter. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, before I go, that brother was on TV and venting his heart, putting it out. He told us some stuff. Hell, people didn't know. Maybe some people knew though. And the pain and the hurt at his daughter gravesite. When you see this right here, this brother is at Quilla's gravesite. Hmm. Last time they seen Quilla was in Cabo. None of them got Quilla back. None of them helped pay to get Quilla back, though. And they could have flipped the money over there to get it back. Hey, think about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Ah, Cabo 6 disrespects your Quilla Robinson parents. Calling the mom. Not even talking to the dad. We ain't even go into the personal part of the family dynamics. I'm saying Cabo 6, hey, can, can, hmm, yeah, I know, Jay. They ain't gonna say nothing. They ain't gonna say nothing. I know, but we gotta put that in the universe. Like, why in the hell Nazir and the rest of them is not trying to talk to that? Look, okay, why Nazir since he's so innocent? And the narrative is that he was set up. Okay, with that narrative, you need to go over there and tell Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Bernard Robinson that way you can go to Washington. 